Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, today I am back with another interview problem. This problem has been part of multiple interviews, uh, be it any service based company or be it some fan company. This question is part of almost all those interviews. No, it's not the zero one interview problem. It's the employee manager salary interview problem. And in this video, we are going to discuss this problem and the step by step solution to the problem. Also, we will be discussing all the approaches that we can use to solve this problem. So guys, let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's quickly understand this problem statement. The title of this problem is employee and manager salaries. And here the ask is that we need to find the employees who are earning more than their managers. That is the salary of the employee is greater than the salary of the manager. And in the output section, we need to print the employee's first name and the corresponding salary that is we want to find out or we want to print the name of the employee the first name of the employee and his salary right so now let me make some pointers based on the problem statement so in the select statement we want the first name of employee right and the salary of employee right and we need to find out where we need to find out those employees or those records where employee salary is greater than manager salary right so these are the major pointers or major information which has been provided to us in the problem statement so guys now let's move ahead and understand the data set that we have so here we just have one table the name of the table is employee and these are the data points which are part of this employee table so we have the ID of the employee, the first name, last name, age, sex, title, department, salary, target, bonus, email, city, address and manager ID. So guys here you can see that majorly we have the employee ID and the other details around that employee. And in the last column we have manager ID that is we have the details of the manager. right? And the ask here is that we want to print the first name of the employee which we can take from this data point and we want to find out the salary of the employee right which we can take using this data point but now the catch here is that we want to filter out those records where the employee's salary is less than manager salary right that is we just want to print those records where employee salary is greater than manager salary right so as now in order to find this employee salary we can use this column this salary column but how can we find out the salary of the manager because we do not have any separate column for the manager salary right so guys now in order to find out the salary of the manager since it is not available in this data set so we need to find it out and in order to do that we are going to use self join here but why self join so let's understand this using a diagram so guys we, now we are at the excel sheet and we have this table employee so I have ignored other columns for the sake of easiness, right? So assume that we have just one table employee and here we have three columns, employee ID, salary and manager ID, right? Now we want to filter out those records where employee salary is greater than manager salary. That is, we want to find out the salary of the manager, right? But we do not have that specific column. So guys, now let's take a step ahead and think that manager is also one of the employee of the company that is if we have the manager id then we can find out the salary of the manager by equating the employee id equals to manager id that is if we join this table with a similar table right on this condition that manager id equals to employee id then it will give us the corresponding salary that is let's take an example Suppose we have employee ID 123, the salary is 1, 10,000 rupees and the manager ID is 456, right? So we have the details corresponding to this employee ID 123. But in this table only, since manager is also one of the employee, if employee, if we mention employee ID equals to 456, we can fetch the salary, the manager ID and the other details corresponding to this particular manager 456, right? So now in this case also we need to do the similar thing that is we will be joining this particular table employee with this table 
and since we are joining the similar tables it is called self join now how to join these two tables like on what conditions we want to join these two tables now what do we want in the final output we want the employee id we want the employee salary we want the manager id and we want the manager salary right so now what do we want we want that corresponding to a particular employee we have we will have some manager id right and what do we want corresponding to that manager id we will be inputting that in this table and corresponding to that we will be fetching the salary right that is if we mention 1 2 3 we will be getting 10000 as the salary and the manager will be 4 5 6 and if we mention this 4 5 6 in this table as the employee id then we will be getting the salary suppose we have 20000 right that is we are joining this particular table with this particular table on what condition the condition would be on a dot manager underscore id equals to b dot employee underscore id so now i hope you understand this part since we are equating this manager id in this table as an employee id to get the details the salary details of this manager therefore the joining condition is on a dot manager id equals to b dot e underscore id right so guys now let's start writing the query and it will help you to understand this concept in a better way so select so in the output section what do we want we want the employee id the employee salary the manager id and the manager salary right so i am using self join here and i am giving two different aliases for first table i will be using alias a and for the second table i will be using alias b so from the first table i want the employee id the manager id and the employee salary right so i will be using a dot id as employee id right now i will be using a dot salary as employee salary then a dot manager underscore id as manager id right now from the second table since in the second table i will be inputting the manager id as the employee id and i will be extracting the salary so for that i will be using b dot salary as manager underscore salary now from so the first table will be employee and the alias that i am going to use here is a now i will be joining this table with the similar table so inner join or simply you can mention join it will also work employee b right now the joining condition as we discussed will be a dot manager underscore id equals to b dot id so guys i hope you get this point that we are equating the manager id from table a to the employee id in the table b so that we can get the manager salary right so now let's execute this part to see what we are getting all right so guys here you can see that we are getting the employee id the employee salary the manager id and the manager salary now moving ahead i have this condition that is i just want those records where the salary of the employee is greater than the salary of manager all right so now in order to add that i will be using having clause so having employee underscore salary greater than manager underscore salary right so now let's execute this to see the output all right all right so here we are getting one record the employee id is 11 the salary is 250000 the manager id is 1 and the manager salary is 2 lakh rupees right so guys in the output section we need to print these two columns that is the first name of the employee and the salary of the employee so here i have used these four columns or i have printed these four columns so that you guys can visualize how we are applying the self join here right now we uh, by applying this self join and by using this on condition and the having clause we are able to solve this part where employee salary is greater than manager salary 
Now, in order to print these two columns, we need to modify this select statement, right? So now let's add the first name column as well. So let's write a dot first underscore name, right? Now I will be putting this in a sub query, right? So, so now let's write the select statement. So in the select statement, I want the first name underscore name comma employee salary, right? From so I will be putting this part in the sub query, right? So and now we need to give it an alias. Suppose we are giving it a. Now let's execute it to see the output. All right. So we are getting the first name as Richard and the salary of Richard is 2,50,000. And this is the expected output. All right. So this is the expected output that is the employee name is Richard and the employee salary is 2,50,000. So guys, this is one way of attempting these kind of problem. So first of all, let me give you a recap of how we have attempted this problem. So first of all, we have taken a self join. We just have one table here that is employee and we have used self join here to join these two tables because we want the details of employee as well as the managers. And since manager is also one of the employee of the company, so we can use a self join on the condition that a dot manager ID equals to b dot ID that is b dot employee ID, right? And since we just want those records where the employee salary is greater than manager salary. So we have used having clause and used this condition here. Now after that, we have created this table. So first of all, let me execute this part again. All right. So here we were able to find out the employee ID, the employee salary, the manager ID, the salary of manager and the name of first name of the employee, right? And after that, we have put all these things in this sub query and we have we just want the first name and the employee salary so we have put all these things in a sub query and used this select statement right so guys this is one 